Hey there, everybody. Welcome back to Let's Play Tales of Berseria. We are in quite the interesting place because as soon as I load, there's dudes trying to kill me. Kitty, not now. Not now. I need to be able to see. Okay, why are you... I already have you. Why are you showing the map like you're a thing when you're not a thing? More dead. Okay, they get stopped chasing me for some reason. Not entirely sure why that is. Okay, so someone was mentioning I should probably that I had something I could equip. Resistance ring. Okay, there we go. I still every time I see her, I'm immediately like she's a shadow. So yeah, so apparently, um, I, I love how everyone was like, "Oh, we're safe. We've got a um." person in our group that can, you know, stop them from coming in, and even though he's not in the city, no one even thinks, like, maybe we need something else. Look, granted, I don't know what else they can do. It is a kind of shitty world where there's just monsters that can't be hurt by anything that wandering around. Is this where I'm going? Apparently it is. Don't give up. Never give up. Never surrender. I watched that movie. Ah, jeez. Why is a demon here? I also have to wonder about the relative presence of demons. Okay, I, I have to be able to run away. You have to... I, I've got to run. So I do actually like the escape metric a lot more than just holding down two buttons for a while. Like, that, it is farly rewarding. Farly. Here, here comes some uh, more wolves trying to chase me down. I just have to say, being a wolf myself, and no, that does not mean a furry, I mean, literally my last name is Wolf. Um, it does bother me a little bit that the wolves are so much slower than people, because that shouldn't be a thing. Like, I get it for game balance purposes that you don't necessarily want uh, Velvet getting, like, beaten up by every wolf she comes across because she can't outrun them. But it still is just an annoying to see me just casually trotting along and this wolf lumbering behind me. I'm like, that's not how that works. Ah, oh, there's the moon. Blessed by the moon. Fluffy, Arthur. Oh wait, Arthur just like ditched the city? Velvet! You. Oh, thank goodness. You kept Luffy safe, didn't you, Arthur? I don't think that's Arthur. One more sentiment to cast off. Velvet, run! Arthur! Interesting. Here, once, was the seal to the underworld broken. And tonight, here shall be born the power to save the world. So he's sacrificing his family in order to have a way to fight back against the demons? With Lucas' life as a sacrifice. What? What are you saying? I kind of feel like you're like hands and feet are on fire. Yeah, I got a bad feeling. I, 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 I'm thinking more and more that Lafayette said is not one of my party members. I just, it was someone else in the intro that I was confusing. Because this kind of looks bad. Arthur, no! Interesting, so I do I basically spend my entire um adult-ish life trying to kill my brother? Okay, it wasn't really on fire, they were flames that were Oh wow, okay. 
Let him go. This is an offering to the world. What I want to... Nothing can save him now. No, no, no! I see you will not change. Ever a slave to emotion. Wow. <laughs> this game is a lot more graphic than most of the other ones I've seen. Like, the only one that can kind of stand up to is Vesperia with, like, straight up murdering a dude and throwing him in a river. Where she gets her freaky other arms. I, I noticed that one of her arms is super bandaged whenever you see it. Oh, so interesting that uh, 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 it's going to be an ongoing thing with me. The idea of sacrificing one life to save a world and that being wrong is going to bother me a lot. But at the same time, I don't think that Velvet is necessarily... Like, I understand her emotion and her, like, nuance on this one. It would be interesting, actually, if they made, like, similar to, um, Zillia, where if, like, you could play this as Arthur or as Velvet, and, it, like, just completely different storylines. A demon that feeds on demons. So, so yeah, this is fighting demons with the power of the dark. Atherian. Arthur! Wait, uh, are they protecting Arthur? Interesting, so my attacks are very different now. Out of curiosity. So interesting, it looks like when the car comes out, her entire sequence changes and she just be, kind of becomes. Take a look around. <laughs> so, yeah, the werewolves were the villagers. Demon blight has spread through the village. But do not fear. With my power as an exorcist, I, Artorius Colbrand, will end your pain. Oh, there's the comb. Why is it that birds fly? Behold my answer, Velvet. Arthur, 
I well, obviously, no forgiveness. The sin is mine to bear. So obviously, isn't going to kill her because that would be a really lame game. Isn't Artorius the throne that we go to at the end of Zestiria? Is, is it the throne of Artorian or Artorius? I'm still not 100% sure if this is a prequel or a sequel. I, I feel like it has to be I will a prequel. Make you pay. Again, because the Demon Blades were fairly new in this age. So obviously, by the end of the game... Interesting, he didn't kill us. He threw us in prison. I wonder why he did that whenever... Is it because we're not fully Demon Blighted yet? Yeah. What difficulty am I? I think I'm on so hard. did my world come to an end. And for three long years, I sat in that pit of darkness and fed. Devouring demons. So I could live. So I could live long enough to kill him. And be my brother's vengeance. And be your brother's How about, what about getting a vengeance on your brother? I feel like that's more of what you actually want to do, right? You're not trying to be an instrument of vengeance for him. Oh, oh, oh. I, for, I, I think they're both her brother. I was confused. Artorian may just be taking care of the family. Because the parents died. That probably makes more sense. Wait, does she have heels on? She's been in a pit for three years and she saw. Oh, that's not her. Okay, that makes more sense. I still think it's ridiculous that combat based characters wear heels, but maybe she's magic based, in which case it's slightly less ridiculous. Where is he? First, there will be a test. It I will like decide tests. if you are worth teaching. So what? Okay. Tilt the wall, defending with your little twist between palm out SG and dash position. Okay, yep. Here I come! Burning. If you are not, I will kill you. Ready yourself. I'm not sure this is a test exactly. Yeah, I learned from last time not to let that happen. Alright, I like that. I like they brought back. Holding back. You noticed. Well done. You pass. Of course. His Moloch would never be so weak as that. I am his Moloch no longer. Interesting. There was a fight. First, let me tell you what has transpired these past three years. There are exorcists now throughout the land, challenging the reign of demons with the help of... Tell me. Where is he? Tell me where Artorius is. You may find him in the capital city of Logris in Midgand. 
you won't stop to listen. I can tell you what it was you saw that night. You're going to need more people. I don't care how cool you think you are. That night, the ritual he performed shifted the very course of the world. A host of Malakim descended, and with their strength, the emergent exorcists quelled the demon tide. Now, he serves as leader of the Exorcist's Abbey, an institution that enjoys the unconditional faith of the kingdom and power. Well, yeah, he basically saved the world, a so it makes sense. A shield to guard the people and a sword against demons, Artorius Colbrand, the world's savior. With power stolen by sacrificing Lafayette. Kinda gotta go with him at this one. Indeed. But his power is not yet absolute. The man can still be killed. Why are you doing this? Yeah, that's a very good Make question. Make a successful escape from this place, and I'll explain. <laughs> You're just chastising me for not stopping and listening, and I stop and listen, and you say, I'm not telling you yet. Escape? So that's your game. Fine. I don't care what the world thinks of me. What matters is my vengeance against Artorius. That's all. My god, she is... Like, I get it, and it's interesting, but uh, she is so damn edge. <laughs> Even if I must I be dead. shattered your yoke. We must hurry. My fate is sealed. Basically, yes, she's, she's ill in it, is what I'm saying. Presumably for equipment to trigger a random skill. All right. So how do I... I can't go into her arts and change them. Gotta say this music is not doing it for me yet. Bam 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 bam. Okay, apparently I can't attack the pot. How am I supposed to have a war on drugs if I can't attack the pot? So it seems like there's nothing in here. There's nothing in here though. Okay, that's a problem. So if you notice... Okay, I didn't do it. I'll move once and I'll have several splashy noises. I keep thinking these are chasing me. And they're not. Need equipment. There are weapons in the room ahead. Why do you have weapons in a prison with no guards? Did you just... Do you like broadcast this on pay-per-view and you're like, hey, look, they're killing each other, ha! Ah! So I have apparently been doing that for a while. Also, I'm not sure where this room ahead is. I'm kind of just going around in a circle. Okay, there's the room ahead. So I'm guessing Ar Artorius just put me down here because of our background. He didn't, he didn't actually want to kill me, otherwise he probably wouldn't have. But I don't know, they also seem to be throwing, um... No one raised the alarm. I can see that. Take what you need from here. It looks like they kept prisoners' effects in here. Rope. This will be useful. Oh, hey! Quite a blade. I know that sword. Stormhowl. What is it doing here? Well, it's too big for me. You're not taking it? It's a celebrated masterpiece. And if I can't use it, it's worthless. I don't know, you could bribe someone with it. All right. Okay, now she looks Are a little less... Then? Like, I was, I was having trouble not staring at people. Uh, things I shouldn't be staring at. Be 
careful. He's no ordinary soldier. He's an exorcist orderly. Well, he's pretty or ordinary to me. You didn't even flinch. I already told you. I am his Moloch no longer. What the hell's a Moloch? Is there a ship waiting? So you already know we're on an island. Yes. I've learned that this is a prison island for violent criminals. And that there are scores of demons locked away. Well, there used to be anyway. Demons say lots of things when they don't want you to eat them. The prison has docks at both the front and rear entrances. Our ship is on the back side. Right where I like it. Got it. The back docks. Oh my gosh, she is a little bit too... Um, just because I'm like, I, I need her to be interesting and fun, and right now she's just so... Like, and again, I have a hard time because I don't want to criticize because it really fits with what we know of her so far. But it is going to get tedious over time where she's just like, I say only as much as necessary. I am withdrawn and aloof. And I'm like, oh my god. It reminds me of when I played an RPG and you always had that one character that was like, you know, I am the cold and indecisive sniper or ninja. I don't need you. I'm only alone. Because, and so it's just like, okay, we'll just ignore him. See, every time, so what do you think we should do? It doesn't matter what you do. And I'm like, ah, you never contribute to anything. Man, I'm surprised there's not skits. I hope I haven't been missing them. Because someone did say you should really get used to looking for skits. Um, and I don't know that I've been looking as close as I should have. What is this thing? That's a special mass of mana. Think of them as the souls belonging to a family of Malachim. We're weaponizing Malachim souls? after the advent three years ago. Another after effect of the advent. If you collect enough of them, you might be able to solicit the cooperation of a Malak family. And I'm supposed to take your word for it. Well, do I'm you know? I'm not forcing you to do anything. Whether you collect them or not is up to you. I might as well pick them up. I'll use every tool at my disposal. Okay, that's really a... Indeed. You'll have to if you want your revenge. <laughs> also, that... the Moloch's boobs are about to fall out of her dress. I was just looking at that. I hadn't really noticed it before because I was staring at velvet. But damn. They must be similar to blades in Xenogears where if, if they're not suggestive, you're not trying hard enough. Guards coming. Two of them. This way. Did you hear? The path around the island is off limits now. They say the ground's weak and could collapse. The path that goes under the watchtower? That's alright. Nobody uses it anyway. True, but it was a nice shortcut to the docks. A shortcut to the docks? Under the watchtower? What a convenient tower. conversation to run into! A number of guards have gone missing. It would seem we have intruders on the island. All exorcists break into two groups and converge at the front and rear gates. Understood. No one will get past us. Stay sharp. The threat could be serious. Yes, yes sir. sir. All right. This isn't going to be easy. Then we'll need reinforcements of our own. Where are the cells? Oh, we've been passing them for a they while now. They should be on this floor. You plan on involving the other prisoners? I'll use any tool I have at my disposal. Alright, hopefully we find some party members and not just people we have to kill. I wonder if you could choose just to, like, go it alone. Like, I, I will never pick up any party members. Who in 
the blazes are you? Here I go! Excellent. Come on, really? So I wonder when my arm comes out. Yeah, you you already said that. Oh my gosh, this this music is just getting to me, guys. Come on. I need to catch your tune. A lot of prisoners. A lot of them demons, though. Listen up! I'm opening every door to every cell! We're getting off this island! What the hell? You serious? to two groups and rush the front and rear gates. Break through the gates and you'll have a ship. But aren't they guarded by exorcists? I mean, that pirate Von Eifried's the only one who's ever broken out of here. Oh, hey. But he didn't pull it off just by himself. He was hauled out by some old exorcist named Melchior or something. Interesting. Von Eifried? And Melchior. I don't know who any of those people are. I won't force you. You want to rot in here? Then rot. I'm with you. Anything's better than another day in this rattle. Let's do it. I'm going home to my family. Me too. Yeah. Let me out, Rogues girl. Rogues like us are always I'm up for sick a of the slop they feed us. Ceres. I wonder how she knew they could Let's do that. Go. We'll burn those exorcists. Open all the doors. So the demons are a lot more attention able to be reasoned with in, meantime, in Zestiria. We'll search for that watchtower. From there, we can follow the outer path down to the docks. So you're leaving them all to their fates? I told you, we'll use any tool I need. I mean, yeah, obviously that's what's going to happen. I see you back there. You're Hi. not going to escape. Don't underestimate the exorcists. They're all gonna die like dogs. Or goblins. <laughs> this abbey that's in charge of this place. They're that amazing. Amazing doesn't even begin to cover it. The exorcists of the abbey joined forces with the kingdom of Midgand. And they've got the whole world in their pocket. They're merciless. They hunt down any human who becomes a demon. Going against them means taking on the whole world. So and I bet I know game. who's at the top. Those who get captured and sent here are the lucky ones. We may be monsters, but at least we have our lives. Sure, until they get fed to me. Thanks for the info. Even if you manage to escape this place, thousands of exorcists controlling powerful Molochim will be out there waiting for you. There's nowhere for you to run. Nowhere. I'm not going to run. I'll gladly die, as long as I take Artorius with me. I, I am. Someone mentioned this actually, um, and I am really, really happy with the way the game is handling um, the quests. Where it's not just like go and get seven rabbits. It's like, oh, go here in order to get an extra cutscene or more information. Because that's the thing. the The rewards you need is something that you find interesting, not extra tasks to do. Because the game, you know, needs to pad out its length some. Still hell away from me. 
I'm also glad that they actually do have some people that were like, I'm not interested in fighting the And yeah, it's got me looking around for all the things. So guys, question for you in the comments. If you were, um, turned into a monster, what kind of monster would you be? We got goblins, we got undead. I mean, obviously I'm a little bit, um, conceited. And I wouldn't give myself a cool monster, but I, I probably, I think myself I'd end up as a lich or a vampire. Something that doesn't die and, you know, is rather intelligent. We're not falling for it. They killed 30 men, doesn't mean I want to join them. At least my fools are merry. Battle boots. I already had battle boots. More like battle boo. I'm hilarious. Okay. There goes that. We're just about out of time, but I want to get to a, like, good ending point, I think. Or at the very least, you know, not end here. Dear me! Not a word of apology? <laughs> huh, what is wrong with you people? There I was, sleeping like a sweet babe, when suddenly... From paradise down to hell! No worse, a grimy prison cell! What the hell? Is, is her <laughs> belt made of books? Feeling well. Oh my and god, she's are? rhyming. Hooray! You asked! I'm thrilled to introduce oh god, my outro music. the wise sorceress who travels the eleven seas, who scoffs at the might of dragons! None other than the acclaimed, the illustrious, Magikigikambi Ludindo Dindo Larundu! Magilu for short. Magilu? No, Mom, I can see she's I'm supposed sorry, to counter the edge some. Do or call me any of those things, and I'll turn you into a froggy stew. <sighs> I suppose you'll never understand. <laughs> People can be so tragically unlearned. Okay. But hey, like I care. Oh my God, she she sings too. Oh, we all know she's joining. She actually had theme music. believe she snuck up on me. Who is she? This is no ordinary prison. We must be cautious. Trust no that one. That includes you though, Ceres. She said she's a powerful witch. Did she have a Moloch tethered? No, I didn't sense Malachim around her. She's an ordinary human, I think. Then she's an ordinary magician, not a witch. If she tries to trick me again, I'll crush her and be done with it. All right. Go ahead and pick this up. So interesting. Um, I do, I do. But my God, it's it's like it, everything about this game has turned up to eleven so far. You got her who is like super edge, and then super outgoing, quirky, and hilarious magic girl. And I'm just, I'm just like, this is going to get slightly tedious. I like the game. I, I apologize for criticizing like hell, but it's what I do. It's what I do. All right. And that is a pretty good place to end the episode, I think. We're a little bit past her. We got my outro music. And you know what? If you liked your outro music the first time, here it comes again. Look forward to it.